What's going on, you guys? It's Mr. Fodger back here with another episode of FIFA Mobile. Yes, today is the domination. As you're aware, it's just gone near. It's near enough. Got past seven. You only need to pay twenty-five thousand for this, and then you'll get to play the domination matches so many times, and you get bonus items for completing it. I do recommend doing it. Um, a lot of people was not um, that I did not mention yesterday. Some people might not have been aware of the one thousand three hundred points. If you complete the survey, you would have been rewarded them on Sunday, if not month or Saturday, depending. But you would have been rewarded them with the one thousand. Do I recommend doing a bonus player? It depends on your team. For me, Lamar is a great addition, but that's only because Lamar is a guy who I can actually work with in my team as temporary. I did see that as an investable player, but a lot of people will question that. The other thing is, you'll see I haven't progressed. It's because I'm going to do the final thing today while I talk to you guys about something. Too many years, it's looking less and less likely for myself to go and get these players. The only way how I can get these players, no lie, is if I grind and get really lucky. And the pull rate is actually very bad from my understand. I thought it was better than what it would be. I've kept my energy for that reason, because I was going to grind it this weekend. But uh, I want you guys to honest opinion, what are your pull rates from this? Honestly, just leave a comment down below going, either I got super lucky or I ain't got nothing really interesting. So what are your pull rates of getting like the attackers, the midfielders or the defender cards? This today's event is um, defenders, which are specialised. So I will be saving myself for the attackers, obviously. I hope I have enough points to go and get an, another free player. I probably will keep it for the attackers again because the attackers are the ones which can generally improve my team. Defenders can't, midfielders again can't. So attackers will generally improve my team. I just um, scored three free kicks out for him. Mbappe. Mbappe is not a bad card. He's no Bale, I'm going to be honest. I do actually miss playing Bale as a right winger, but Mbappe is doing an okay job. I wouldn't say doing the job, but he's doing an okay job in that position. Regarding the rest of them, there's not really much else I can really say. Just, just, just the difference in passing the Wood Bale is just he's such a smooth player to use, and especially because he's so high overrated, like uh, overall rating. Now I don't even even without the attributes, he was so good. He was a 91 without attribute, and with attributes, it's um 97 on my team. He could be, he's gonna be my first master card. I'm predicting it. That's him, so he will be the one. He's one who definitely stands out. As you can see, I've got the team of the year attacker. I will need to play Spurs, so I'll be doing that off camera. Got my six points, and then I'll be grinding for the seven and grinding for the eight and so on and all. To do these, you need a minimum of 15, 21, 30, 40. You need 55. I've got six. I need to get another 49 by the end of seven days. It's highly unlikely, but if the pack pulls come my way, you never know. And if they do some special card offers, I'll be keeping an eye out. Ooh. I thought it contained something else there. Never mind. You can see I got 32 out of 100. I really wish there was a way like you could buy the tokens, but you can't. Fudgy, you have to wait um, for that. Um, yesterday's episode was really dull, as mentioned, it's just because the content wasn't there, and the day before there was a lot of better content, which the war I don't think many people have seen, so I do recommend checking out Saturdays to see the Team D and Mbappe pool, and a couple other great pools for my team, some of them made the team, some of them haven't, but that's just the way how FIFA works. Um, besides that, I don't have really much all to say, because for me, it's going to be two things, grinding and domination event, which I will do. And then grinding the team the year event, which I'm also doing at the same time. So I will be playing the bail. I will be getting the bail reward tonight to then go and play that. And domination all is is 25k cash. And to be honest, but the price of 25k when you got six mil, it's not that much. As I said, I really just want him for my rewards. But it's just the way how it is. Literally, you can only get one. And I really wanted to do that. I actually I'm gonna get that tonight, which will give me another two point five million coins. But I really want this one just for that. Um, I can't get free unless I get really lucky. 
and there's no chance of me getting any more than two. I don't think I'm going to get more than two, to be honest, with my luck. I don't have great luck. I don't have pack pulls luck or anything like that. It's just the way how it works. I know a lot of people are going to say you could have got one of the tokens, but it's only one token, so it wasn't really worth in the whole run. Plus, I did need to play some games, which I wasn't really in the mood of doing at the time. Uh, here, I need another 31 wins. That just tells you something. 31 wins for free. And that's the way how it is. I probably will level up tonight. As you can see in the top right, I have a little thing. Um, no spoilers, but if you want to go ahead, I still got to sell some people on my team. As you can see, I'm already there, the two guys there. So, yeah, besides all of that, I have nothing else really to say. Um, I guess I'll see you all next time when tomorrow is Team Heroes. Have a nice one. Peace.